I made my NFL predictions yesterday and today. Just because you're a playoff team doesn't necessarily mean you're a Super Bowl team. So we were going to play a game today. Is your Super Bowl window wide open, partially open, or closed? Here we go. Miami <clears throat> Dolphins. I'd say it's partially open. First of all, Tua did go 6-3. and three. He'll be better. He is healthier. They added Will Fuller and Jalen Waddell. So one of their weaknesses is they're not really explosive offensively. Now they will be on the perimeter. They've also upgraded the offensive line. So this was a 10-6 and six team. They should be better at quarterback. The question is, what's the ceiling? But if they stay healthy, it's an elite defense, an elite special team, and now an elite receiving core. So they are a playoff team that would need the right breaks. They're not going to Kansas City in a shootout against the Chiefs and winning, but it's partially open. Speaking of Kansas City, the Chiefs? Wide open, probably the most open. They were humiliated in the Super Bowl, so they'll be energized this year. They've reached the AFC Championship in each of the last three years. Mahomes is 25, Tyreek Hill is 27, Travis Kelsey is 31. (laughs) And they have the second most wins in the league since Andy Reid arrived. So it is wide open with a lot of excellent young players. The L.A. Rams. I think it's open this year. I do worry about their offensive line depth, but they've got stars. Cam Akers, Matt Stafford, Cooper Cup, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey, Leonard Floyd. They had the number one scoring in the number one total defense this year. Um, And they brought Stafford in because they thought they had a ceiling offensively. So it is open. The Bills. I think it's wide open, probably number two or three in the league. Listen, Josh Allen has improved every metric every year he's been in the NFL. They went and addressed their lack of a pass rush. Their secondary is good, but they can't card guys forever. They got a slot receiver in Cole Beasley, a home run hitter in Stephon Diggs, and they are very well managed and coached. The Washington football team. I'm sorry, but I think it's closed. I just don't think Ryan Fitzpatrick is a legitimate Super Bowl quarterback, although I like him as a person. Their starting defensive line is made up of four former first-round picks. They will eventually get expensive. So either they're in, they're going to invest in the quarterback or they're not a Super Bowl team. The Ravens. I think it is wide open. Uh, Lamar Jackson has won 80% of his games. They're the only team in the league with a top three scoring defense in each of the last three seasons. He's 30-7 and seven as a starter. Uh, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, Marquise Brown, J.K. Dobbins. They have similar aged players moving into their prime. So I think it's wide open, and I think the criticism of Lamar is unjust. He is 30-7 and seven as a starter, significantly better than Tom Brady at this stage in his career. How about the Green Bay Packers? I think it's partially open. I don't think they're elite defensively, but Aaron's 37. Last year, he wants to play well. Matt LaFleur's 26-6. and six. Devontae Adams is in his last year so of his contract. So I think this is going to be a different-looking football team in one year than it is now. I do not think they're going to win the Super Bowl, but I think Aaron and LaFleur and Devontae Adams in a solid defense in a dysfunctional division makes it partially open. How about the Colts? Again, big advantage here. They're going to have a home playoff game because the division is just a bunch of nonsense, so it is wide open. They rank top 10 in both scoring offense and defense last year. Lots of win in their division. They're going to be hosting a home playoff game. A lot of it comes down to Frank Reich and Carson Wentz. Can they rehabilitate his career? I think they will. I think Jonathan Taylor became what they were missing in previous years, a home run hitting running back. The Browns? I think it's partially open. I can't see Baker Mayfield hoisting a Super Bowl trophy. He did have 11 TDs and one pick over his last six games last year. So I think Stefanski understands what he can do and what he can't, so it's partially open. And the Chargers. I think it's open. They have a rookie head coach in Brandon Staley, but the bottom line, they have retooled the team weakness, that being the offensive line, Herbert off a record-setting season. And by the way, the Raiders and the Broncos are still wobbly, which could potentially be 4-0 against those two teams in division. We'll see you tomorrow in L.A. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. 
Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.